Oracle project costing integration with other Oracle applications modules. So apart from integrating within Oracle project management suite, project costing integrates with a whole lot of other modules. So let's understand that integration. As you could see, it integrates with Oracle internet expenses for things such as expenses submitted by employees and contractors against the project. It integrates with time and labor for the timesheets submitted by employees and contractors. Project manufacturing, it integrates with project manufacturing for the costs associated for building a project that involves manufacturing. Ultimately, project costing module is a central repository which collates all the costs from all these sources. Oracle payables, the invoices process for the suppliers which are related to the project are integrated with Oracle project costing and they're reflected as an expenditure in project costing. The invoices could be for items purchased via Oracle purchasing module, the contractor payments against the time spent on the project or expenses payments or any other miscellaneous purchase and invoice in Oracle payables. Then you've got Oracle assets. So for items that you have purchased from purchasing, which are assets, they can be transferred to Oracle assets after they've been paid. But while the purchasing is happening, you will give a reference to the project. So they are project related items. And that's where the integration comes. The second integration comes is you can define construction and process assets in Oracle project costing. And once you are ready to capitalize those assets, you transfer it to the assets and the costs incurred in processing those assets are captured within Oracle project costing. So that's where the integration comes when you are ready to transfer a CIP assets to Oracle fix assets module. Asset tracking, so items purchased from purchasing can be tracked via Oracle asset tracking until they land up in fixed assets. Not only that, if at all you are retiring the asset, then those assets can as well be tracked in asset tracking. I procurement deals with a couple of uh, scenarios such as as a project manager, you are requesting a project resource and that resource is an external resource like a contractor. So for that, you raise a requisition which is related to the project and that requisition will be used to create a purchase order and that purchase order will be sent to a supplier to get a contingent worker on board. And time and expenses incurred by that contingent worker would be paid by a Oracle payables, but the cost of those expenses would be reflected in Oracle project costing module. Then you have Oracle purchasing. So purchasing deals with one type, such as I just explained you contractor payments. So I procurement and purchasing works very closely. So you can also raise requisitions for miscellaneous items that you would like to purchase as a part of project execution or any other items, the catalog items defined. And those requisitions are used to create purchase orders. You can as well create standalone purchase orders which are not related to requisitions. for miscellaneous purchases or asset purchases which are related to the projects and the cost of those purchases will be reflected in project costing. Then in Oracle inventory, if you have maintained a 
internal store for miscellaneous project items and if you make an issue to the project from that store then the costs associated with that material issues are reflected in Oracle project costing. Then Oracle Subledger accounting is something that comes as a next step to process the accounting based on rules that you have defined before you post that accounting in Oracle Journal Ledger module. So the accounting first gets created in budget costing, then the rules defined in subledger accounting are applied. And once you finalize the accounting, then it is transferred to Journal Ledger, wherein you post that accounting to your ledgers. So these are different integrations that you have. They are not all, but they are the major ones. And at the bottom, I have written the main enterprise project management suite modules to which project costing integrates with. Now let's go into these individual modules and understand a little bit in more detail as to what we have just understood.